Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph. But what we're going to talk about really is my MacGyver moment. And I'll explain to you what I mean by that when we return. Well, welcome back. So how did I get this photograph and what am I talking about when I say my MacGyver moment? Well, it all began with me getting commissioned to shoot a swimsuit catalogue on location in Malibu. The company that hired me is called Malibu Strings and they're a great company but the only problem they have is the art director wants me to be on the beach when the sun is out at its brightest and if you know anything about shooting on location the best time is either early in the morning or later in the afternoon. But anyways, besides all that I decided the best thing I can do is to do flash fill. Now in order to do flash fill you need somewhat of a powerful strobe and if you're going to do it for several hours you need something that is not your little tiny dinky strobe but something that's got a big enough battery to support the time that you're going to be on location. So what I did was I rented a strobe from a photo camera store that I thought would be able to accommodate the kind of lighting that I want uh, for my shoot as flash fill or in this particular case what it's going to be doing is really be my main light because the sun is going to be so bright. You can see in these pictures here that obviously the light is nice and balanced fairly well but it's still pretty hot in the background. So we get to the location and uh, hair and makeup is getting done and I unpack all the equipment and look at my assistant and say hey, wait a minute where is the sync cord that goes from the camera to the strobe? Now the strobe had got one of those little tiny plugs that you just plug in like a household plug and uh, the other end would normally be a sync cord that goes into the camera. I didn't have any wireless triggers at the time so I was going to do this just by simply plugging into the to the strobe itself but the wire was missing. Now I didn't want to get anybody alarmed and uh, have to call the shoot off so I said okay I've got to get up to my car for something and I'll be back in a little while. Didn't, uh, didn't tell anybody what I was doing except my assistant knew exactly what was going on and he just basically, you know, uh, stayed on location with the client and uh, the makeup and hair people and they got to work on all the models whilst I took my five minute walk up to the car. Now the one thing I will tell you is, is that when you do go on a location such as a beach, try not to take too many people with you because when you've got girls in swimsuits you will draw a little bit of attention to yourself. Uh, so keep your people to a minimum. Now I get up to my car and I look in the trunk and, um, or as we say in the UK, my boot and I found some bits and bobs of stuff and eventually I came across a wire. Now one end of the wire was exactly what I wanted to plug into the camera but the other end wasn't. So I had to cut the wire off and strip it back with my trusty little pen knife, got to the, uh, to the two bare wires and I uh, thought to myself, okay, well, I could just plug these into the strobe. But the problem is, is how am I going to make sure that they stay in there? And I could tape them in there, um, but as you can see, the cable is not very long, so I'm only going to be this far away from my light. Uh, and anything's possible. So I needed something to secure it. So I looked further into my bag, and I came across, believe it or not, a little tiny sensor. It's, it, what it does is it plugs into your strobe pack, and it's a trigger so that when the light flashes this little sensor inside clicks and um, makes your other strobe go off so it's an electronic eye if you like but the problem was is I, this was going to be out in the sunlight and uh, that's no good because then the, the you know it's going to keep triggering off all the time with the sunlight so I got some tape and wrapped the tape around the sensor so it would block the light from getting to it and then fortunately enough there's little holes in the end of these little two little pieces right here so I was able to thread through the wires and then I was able to put that in to the end of the strobe. So I had this in the end of the strobe like this and then I had that plugged into my camera and as I said you know it wasn't very far away but I was able to get my shots done and uh, use it successfully and as you can see here great shots no problem. Uh, except for again as I said you know the sunlight was a little bright but we were able to work some stuff in Photoshop and get it figured out. So there you have it that's my MacGyver moment where I had to figure out how I was going to get that problem solved. So all I can say to you guys is make sure you have a little bag with some extra stuff, pen knife, some tape, 
some other bits and pieces that you might need or maybe just things that you think you might need but you don't know you need or that you don't know you need and you think you need or something like that but anyway gather some things together take them with you on location and also the ultimate thing is to check to make sure that when you do rent something from somewhere else it's working now I'm not saying that I didn't check it I'm not saying they didn't check it I'm just saying that's how it rolled out that there was no cable well, if you like that story, you might want to pop over to my blog, andrefelixphoto.com, and check out my stuff on there. I've got lots of interesting stories behind the picture and some tips and tricks. You can also download a PDF of a book I put together, and I'm sure it will inspire you to go out and create something of your own. If you want to see some of my commercial work, you can go over to my other website, andrefelix.com, and check all that stuff out. You'll also find that I'm also a web developer and also a videographer. So there'll be other interesting things on that site too. You can also follow me on Instagram, Andre Felix Photo, and I'm always uh, looking for more people to follow me. You can check out what I do on a daily basis. Now, you know I'm a working photographer, so I can't do these videos all the time. But if you have subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, maybe it's about time you subscribed. Give me a thumbs up. That really helps me in a big way. And all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now.